morning. Uh, I'm very excited to be back here. And apart from being excited about being back here, I'm also an illustrator. I do pretty much the exact opposite of this. Uh, I do that. Um, I spend most of my day pretty much in agony. The worst part is, of course, trying to come up with a concept. I try to approach my work in the sense that I come up with an idea and then like a designer choosing a typeface um, or a photo editor choosing the right photographer, then I try to find the right style to really bring this idea to life. And there was this moment when I, when I, had, when I got my first iPhone, or a friend's iPhone obviously, and um, just touching that screen that I felt was so special and even though technologically it's the same thing as like you know moving a mouse and a cursor, it, it, it almost gets this kind of like this this, um, t this quality of like direct interactions. Like it's a, it's a physical experience. I did this thing here, and there you can just like go and swipe. <laughs> and and right around that time, the, the phone rings or Skype rings, um, and and Ravi calls, and it was like. How are you doing? And we're like, we want to just start funding and, and, and enabling crazy art projects. Do you want to do something? And I was like, I just figured, okay, like the only thing that I could imagine was like basically taking that core idea and turning that into like a larger, like functioning thing. And we uh, came up with our app, which I can show you now. And so again, the idea is very simple. You can just like touch things and things will happen. And after a while I realized it would be more fun if the things actually, uh, um, uh, connected through uh, these translations, so you have this, the, uh, this dog. And one of the great challenges that we um, had was to make it really without words, that you would, could just like play with it, there would be no level of frustration, and it's just like, whatever you do, it's... <laughs> Thank you very much.